Now, for many of us, getting around the city can be a trial at the best of times. Packed tubes, buses running late and what seems like endless train delays. But for one London bus user, getting on public transport is even more frustrating. Chris Stapleton uses a wheelchair to get around and has been forced to complain to TfL almost 50 times because drivers fail to lower the ramp when he wants to get off and sometimes don't even open the door to let him get on. He spoke to Luke Hanrahan about his night my trips on the buses. Five times last week, one wheelchair user pressed the wheelchair button on a bus to alert the driver to lower the ramp. Five times the signal was ignored. The driver allowed everyone but Chris Stapleton off the bus. Stop the bus! Chris, who has multiple sclerosis, relies on buses to travel. Increasingly, he says he is let down. Drivers sometimes failing to allow him on board. While I'm waiting for a bus, my stomach gets tight because I don't know what's going to happen. Half the job can be getting on. Eventually inside, the other half is getting off again. Chris has been ignored on 47 separate occasions. I would say it's tense. It's, it makes me nervous. Last time I had to get off at the third stop because the driver ignored me twice. Chris then has to catch another bus back to where he was originally intending to go. So why is this happening? Well, it couldn't be simpler for the driver. Once the button is pressed, an alarm sounds and a light goes on. A lot of times the drivers completely ignore that. They open the doors, let the people off, shut the doors and drive off with me still in, on board. I think it's uh, laziness on the part of the bus drivers, not paying attention, not doing their job properly. Every single time it's happened, Chris has complained to TfL, who apologise, but it keeps occurring more and more frequently. There's no difference being made from the complaint. So um, a bus route, a particular bus number, uh, the same issue will continue to happen. So that means that that complaint, the letter went out and it was, you know, full of pleasantries. But actually, it's not gone down to the garage, it's not gone down to the drivers in an effective way. So the message doesn't appear to be getting through? Well, I think the message is getting through, but we can do more. And I've said to Chris Stapleton, we will do more. As I say, we'll have him explain directly uh, to the staff his own situation. Situation, but also we're reinforcing with all of the training, new training that we're doing this year, reinforcing that message repeatedly with the drivers to say that this is really very important. Chris says he's losing confidence in the buses he relies on to get around. An experience shared in many of the 1.2 million disabled Londoners. I mean, you can understand Chris's frustration. How big a problem is this? Well, this is a major um, uh, issue for him. We asked TfL to tell us just how many other complaints have been made by wheelchair users when buses haven't stopped for them. They couldn't give us an exact figure, but we do know uh, that nearly 2,000 accessibility complaints have been made over the past two years. But it's worth also mentioning that in that time, there have been almost 5 billion individual bus journeys on London's bus network. Um, TfL is very good at replying to complaints, but in Chris's case, um, at least, they haven't made those improvements. In fact, he says it's getting worse. So what they're doing is they're inviting him in to speak to some of their drivers. When you consider that only 70 tube stations out of a total of 270 have step-free access, you start realising just how crucial bus travel is to people with mobility uh, problems. So what we want to find out is how many other people in wheelchairs are facing similar problems uh, getting off buses. So please do get in touch with us um, at this address. Contact us at itvlondon.com and let us know your experiences. Yeah, please do. OK, Luke, thanks so much.